Hi friends, once again back with a beautiful topic that is the range of thallus structure in algae. So you can see the diversity in this slide. These are different algae with immense diversity in structure, in reserve food, in pigmentation. So it's a class of plants that is very difficult to classify. Let's start with definition. Algae are chlorophyllated thallophytes with autotrophic mode of nutrition. Majority are aquatic. They are thallophytes as they don't have true stem root or leaves. They are autotrophic, they are photosynthetic and they are the major primary producers in the planet accounting more than 60% of primary productivity. Now let us discuss the amazing diversity in the structure of this beautiful group. In the case of algae, there are unicellular, multicellular, filamentous and up to parenchymatous. So let's start with unicellular algae. Unicellular algae, there are non-motile algae as chlorella, you can see here, and there are diatoms, they are also non-motile. Then there is motile algae like the classical chlamydomonas, you can see the flagella here. Then the second group is multicellular, and this unicellular group soon forms some aggregation, colony formation. Classical example is Volvox, it's a motile colony. And this algae is extremely beautiful and called as dancing algae under the microscope and the organization is called a synobium. Here the colony there is definite number of cells and there is a definite shape even division of labor. The outer cells or the cells in the periphery are involved in may be involved in locomotion or movement whereas cells at the center may be involved in reproduction. There is division of labor in this algae. So then next organization is non motile colony as in pediastrum you can see beautiful algae right here regular shape, regular organization of individual cells. Then there is amorphous colony or palmaloid colony. Here non-motile cells are grouped together in a common mucilage without a definite shape as in the case of uh, microcystis. Then there is dendroid colony uh, like genobryon where there is mucilage only at the base and you can see a tree-like appearance under the microscope. That's why this is called as a dendroid colony. Then the next group is a filamentous. Majority of microscopic algae are filamentous. Filamentous algae, there are unbranched filamentous algae like Spirogaira, Eudogonium, etc. And this is Spirogaira. You can see very common algae, which is, a spawn, which is also called as a pond scum or pond silk. You can see the spiral chloroplast here. Then there is simple branched algae like Cladophora, there is dichotomous branching. This branching arises from just below the septa. You can see a dichotomy under the microscope. Then there are some algae which is pseudo branched, like Cytonema, where you can see the filaments looks like branched, but actually there is a close association of two individual filaments. And the next is a bit more development in the organization that is heterotrichous form, where different trichome or hetero means different trico trichus means filament there are two types of filament there is a prostrate filament and there is an erect filament the, as in the case of ectocarpus and the next is a siphonous algae as in the case of Ausheria, where there is no septation tube-like structure without a septation so it will be multinucleate many nuclei in a common protoplasm the condition is called also called a sinusity condition and the next organization is pseudoparenchymatous as in palmaria the red, red algae where the filaments are closely aggregated and forming and giving a parenchymatous appearance and finally the formation of parenchymatous as in the case of sarcasm the large brown algae that forms the sarcasso see you can see this algae just like land plants you can see leaf like structures truly parenchymatous other examples include alva of chlorophyce. So we have discussed an organization that is starting from unicellular non-motile, increasing in complexity, then there is a colony formation, then there is a filamentous formation, gradual branching, then different types of filaments, and finally forming a parenchymatous structure that is just like a terrestrial plant, as in the case of sarcasm. This is the amazing diversity of algae, very beautiful structures under the microscope. Hope you got something from here. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologicsamsvary.com.